Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. In the past, the costs of rocket production and launch were exceedingly high, posing a significant barrier to the sustainable development of the entire industry. However, with the emergence of private companies like SpaceX, a new breeze has been brought to the space travel sector. Through the application of advanced technologies and innovative business models, SpaceX has substantially reduced the costs of rocket production and launch. So how exactly has SpaceX saved billions of dollars? Let's explore right now. Infrarain, costs in space are two crucial factors that need to be addressed to ensure the sustainable development of the space travel industry. With the relentless efforts of scientists, engineers, and aerospace companies, we can hope for a future where humans can explore space more easily and efficiently. The advent of SpaceX marks a revolutionary turning point for the aerospace industry. Their core strategy of optimizing the costs of production and rocket launch has significantly narrowed the cost barrier, which was a major obstacle to the sustainable development of this field. This enables space organizations to focus resources on more ambitious scientific goals. Beyond domestic efforts, SpaceX has expanded its international collaborations, becoming a reliable partner for numerous organizations and enterprises worldwide. On May 28, 2024, Falcon 9 rocket, cornerstone of SpaceX, successfully completed its mission to launch the EarthCare spacecraft led by the European Space Agency, ISA. EarthCare mission, valued at 800 million euros, approximately 870 million USD, aims to study clouds and aerosols in Earth's atmosphere. The EarthCare project initially faced many challenges, leading to significant delays and budget overrun. The development phase stretched nearly two decades, causing costs to rise by 30% compared to the initial estimate. Additionally, the original launch plan using Russia's Soyuz rocket was replaced by Ariane Space's rocket. SpaceX's involvement was pivotal for this mission. SA's EarthCare mission was originally scheduled to launch in October 2019 from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. However, Geopolitical tensions escalated when Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022. ESA's Director General, Josef Ashbacher, had to announce a switch to launching with the Vega C rocket from Europe in October 2022. Yet this plan faced setbacks due to issues during Vega C's engine static firing tests, delaying the launch to late 2024. Faced with consecutive challenges, ESA had to select a new launch partner. SpaceX? With its reliable Falcon 9 rocket became the perfect alternative solution. This isn't SpaceX's first time supporting ESA. Previously, SpaceX was entrusted with launching the Euclid mission in 2023, first Galileo satellite launched in April 2024, and the upcoming Hera mission scheduled for October 2024. The successful collaboration between ESA and SpaceX in previous missions is testament to the capability and reliability of this launch service provider. Similarly to the British satellite company, OneWeb, which faced difficulties when Russia demanded political conditions to continue using the Soyuz rocket for satellite launches. These conditions included the UK government abandoning a $500 million investment in OneWeb and committing that OneWeb satellites would not be used for military purposes. OneWeb steadfastly refused and had to cancel further satellite launch contracts with Russia. Russia's decision significantly impacted OneWeb. In 2022, the company incurred losses of $229.3 million, total losses for the year increasing by 631%. Fortunately, OneWeb found a substitute solution by partnering with SpaceX. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket became a life-saving option allowing OneWeb to continue deploying satellites without depending on Russia. Although the costs of collaboration between the two parties were not disclosed, SpaceX's Falcon 9 is considered to achieve significant savings compared to Russia's Soyuz rocket. Falcon 9's advantage lies in its reusability, which helps reduce launch costs by up to 65% compared to traditional rockets. With its superior efficiency, Falcon 9 accounted for 90% of global satellite launches in 2023, far surpassing its competitive rival. Designating SpaceX as the chief architect on the path to conquering new frontiers in space is a thoroughly deserved assessment. Despite SpaceX's frequent launches of Falcon 9 rockets, the costs of transporting materials into space remain very high. 
This is partly due to the rocket equation, a fundamental physical challenge in the aerospace field. This principle highlights the need to use fuel to propel the same amount of fuel itself. Unlike commercial aircraft, which take off with fuel comprising 50% of their mass, rockets require up to 85% of their mass for both fuel and oxidizer, typically liquid oxygen, to minimize the total amount of fuel needed for a mission. To optimize weight during launch, rockets typically jettison their main body, known as the first stage, with its large mass and high thrust after passing through the dense lower atmosphere. By reducing weight during flight, achieving orbital velocity with the second stage engine becomes easier. However, this second stage is often destroyed upon re-entry into the atmosphere. Nevertheless, SpaceX has achieved significant milestones in rocket reusability helping to reduce launch costs and address some of the challenges regarding mass. SpaceX has made significant breakthroughs in rocket reusability, substantially reducing satellite launch costs. This achievement stems from two main factors, rapidly reusing the first stage booster through vertical landing and developing leading rocket engines such as Merlin and Raptor. The Raptor engine, designed using a full flow stage combustion cycle using methane liquid oxygen, is the first rocket engine to achieve orbit with this technology. This is a significant milestone that balances specific impulse, ease of fuel storage, and overall thrust, contributing to reducing the challenges of the rocket equation. Despite the much higher costs of building rockets compared to fuel costs, about $200,000 per launch for Falcon 9, the most costly component is the first stage booster, counting for nearly 60% of Falcon 9's total costs. Reusing the first stage booster multiple times significantly saves these costs, marking a turning point in the aerospace industry. Although Falcon 9 is currently dominating the satellite launch market, breakthroughs in cost and reusability will be critical factors shaping the future direction. Many rocket companies are striving to challenge SpaceX by developing more reusable vehicles and minimizing production costs. Some notable names include Stoke Space, with fully reusable rockets. Relativity Space, with advanced 3D printed engine technology. Rocket Lab, with structural innovations in the neutron launch system. This fierce competition will unsettle Falcon 9's dominance and reduce profit margins. However, Starship, SpaceX's fully reusable rocket capable of transporting 100,000 kilograms of cargo, will be a revolutionary milestone. Estimated transportation costs via Starship are around $5,000 per kilos, price point capable of disrupting the market. Furthermore, a low-orbit Starship could serve as a refueling station for other spacecraft, creating an entirely new space ecosystem. Starship not only opens a new era of cargo and human transport to space, but also lays the groundwork for further advances. With Starship, Logistical costs to support commercial space stations and transport materials across lunar space become feasible, bringing the dream of establishing a moon base closer. Even the necessary supply chain for a Martian colony is no longer just a concept. And those are the highlights from today's broadcast. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments on this episode and stay tuned for upcoming events in the next episodes. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to catch more exciting videos on the Elon Musk Signal channel. Goodbye, and see you next time.